Welcome to the first flea market adventure of 2021. Welcome to Paper and Moose. If you are new, thank you for joining me. Yes, it is a flea market day, almost 40 degrees, I think. I may have underdressed. I'm not sure if I put on enough layers, but I am here. It did rain a lot overnight. It has been drizzling on the way in. I'm hoping that's not going to stop the vendors from coming out with all of their treasures because I am looking for treasures. See if we can start 2021 off on the right foot. So grab my flea market bag, put on my scarf, and let's see what great goodies we can find. <laughs> These are really nice. It's 1946. I would have nowhere to put them, but I really like them. Yeah, I heard so. Yeah, my uh, every one of my parents is happy. My ex wife, my daughter, my son. We're all happy. It's going to be lit. Yes. Exactly. Hey, Mark. How much is your, are your is your sheet music? Your sheet music? That's 10 for all that. Okay. I'll do that. Do you want your box back? No, not really. Okay. <laughs> not much to see at the flea market mostly because of the weather. It had poured the night before into the morning and everything was soaked. I didn't wear my boots and my shoes were soaking wet so I didn't even stay that long but that was okay because not many uh, vendors were set up. What did I walk away with? A $10 box of sheet music. Antique vintage sheet music. Now why did I buy the box? We're going to do a little lesson on sheet music, a brief lesson. I bought the box because it was $10. Great price for sheet music in this condition. I also bought it because of the cover art. Very art deco, flapperish, that's a word. Um, lovely colors, great art on the cover, and some of them could be worth a lot of money. Some. Now, when I'm at the flea market, I'm not going to stand there and look up every piece of sheet music on my phone. I think that that would be a waste of time and frankly ridiculous when it's only $10 because somewhere in the box, whether there's one piece of sheet music that I can sell for $10 or whether I can repurpose this and sell it to junk journalists, I'm going to make my $10 back. I think one of the things that people kind of assume about paper, any paper, whether it's sheet music, vintage greeting cards, antique correspondence, is that, oh, it's old, so it's worth money. I think in the world of paper, a lot of people assume that, and that is quite an incorrect assumption. Just And that's in regards to pretty much anything. Just because something is old does not mean that it's worth hundreds of, of dollars. Especially in the world of paper, you have to kind of know your niche, you have to know your selling market, and you have to have an idea of what sells and what doesn't. Paper can be a long, long-term sale. Sometimes you list it and it could sell right away because someone is looking for that exact same piece. Often happens more so with items pertaining to a particular town. Other times it can take months for a piece of paper to sell, but Sheet music, people do all sorts of things with sheet music, whether they collect it, they repurpose it, or they frame it. Repurposing junk journals, crafting, perhaps even jewelry, um, repurposing for, that's just what I said, <laughs> framing. A lot of people frame uh, the cover art of sheet music because it is so pretty, especially if it has to do with a holiday, they incorporate it into their holiday decor. 
Now on this box of sheet music, I did find one piece that will pay for the entire box. So I'm going to show you that. First, I'm just gonna show you some of the other reasons why I purchased it. This lovely piece was right on top. First of all, I love this color. A really nice, soft image. We have the Swanee Butterfly, a song with ukulele arrangement. Art Deco, love the hair and you know this could be used this would look great on the cover of a junk journal it would look great framed perhaps even just repurposing her face into some kind of craft we have sad eyes love the hair a little sad eyes rose you know if you have a powder room if people still have powder rooms that's you know in the style or decor of flowers and roses frame this look great you're just a dream come true the foxtrot song again you have the image these were often you know common during this time you have the woman with the the stylish hair the made-up lips just looks great all that I'm asking is sympathy so many uses ukulele compl a compliment accompaniment Everyone loved that ukulele during that time. But again, great cover art, draws your eye immediately. Many, many uses to repurpose this. So the piece that will bring my money back, my $10 plus profit is this. I'm just wild about Harry and Harry's wild about me. Um, this is a Foxtrot novelty song from the sensational musical comedy success Shuffle Along. The reason that this cover and this sheet music will do well is you can see right off the bat that you have an African American couple dressed wonderfully. That's a good word to use. Dressed in the style. You have the great colors of the orange and the blacks and the light browns. This could be grouped into the black Americana genre, which is collected and has been collected for quite some time. eBay has revamped their selling of black Americana collectibles. Now you are not allowed to sell any type of black Americana uh, that shows African Americans in a derogatory or comical manner. That rule changed over the past year with everything that went on in the world during the past year. But something such as this, it can be considered a part of Black Americana and it's also is a great piece of sheet music. So you would still be able to sell this because, you know, it just it depicts them shuffling along. <laughs> now, I looked online and I'm going to show you what I found when I looked on eBay to try and price this. So currently there is only one listed and they have it at $29.95 and $29.99 for economy shipping. I, I don't know what they're doing. The reason why the shipping is so high is because it is framed. And that is one of the reasons why I do not think this will sell. This piece is framed, it has a backing to it, and you can't see is, is all the sheet music in there? Is the inside okay? Is it just the cover? You can't tell. And plus, $30 to ship something in a frame that could easily go, you know, first class for a couple dollars. People are not going to, to pay over $60 for this. So, I don't think I'll have much competition if I list mine. This one sold... I think it was in December. Yes, December 6th that ended. There were actually four bids. And then we have the same sheet music, if you see in the lower right-hand corner of the picture. I believe that there were some rips and tears to this, also some writing. There is a stamp across the bottom of the woman's dress on the front. Oftentimes when you do find sheet music, you're going to see people, for some reason, like to write their name on the front. And that kind of devalues um, some of the more valuable sheet music, but if it is a rare piece and it still has writing on it, it will still do fairly well. So this sold for almost $20, and then reasonable shipping, you have $4.25 for standard shipping. 
and you can see that they have good with owner's name stamp and inside archival tape repairs the spine and right edge of the insured insert and they also titled it they added the black couple to the title which will draw in the black americana collectors now this piece this sold for $45 plus free shipping and I believe that it was in very nice condition and that is why it sold for so much. Um, I don't think there's any tape, there's no writing, so this would almost be comparable to mine. My piece does have tape repair here, but it's actually done rather well. You know, it's, it's not jaggedy, you don't have the tape coming up inside. Now, there are no, there's no writing on it. You have your normal discoloration and your normal wear to your corners, but there's no major rips. There has been another area of tape repair here, but again, it, it, this is still a nice condition for its age. Oftentimes with sheet music, you'll see the covers are coming off. They're not attached to the spine. They have a lot of dog-eared corners. So this, this is good. So I will probably list this. I don't think I'm going to have much competition with the framed piece. They're asking 30. I could probably ask between maybe 35 to $40 and then even do a, you know, a best offer. It might sit there for a while. Someone might snatch it up right away. But when you're looking at sheet music, you want to look at what your competition is if you're looking to sell it see what others are listed and try and compare yours to what is listed and see if you can kind of work the price in between if you want to sell it fast if you want to hold out and get top top dollar then by all means you know list it for what you feel like so anywhere between 20 to even 40 dollars for this piece of sheet music i think i'll get more towards the higher end and then i'll have paid for the entire box plus profit and i also have many sheets to do some arts and crafts with and even sell to junk journalists too. I think at an auction this may have it could have sold for more. That's where the guy probably bought it. He probably bought it at an auction but it just depends on who's at the auction and if they know their sheet music and what they're going to do with the sheet music. You know, as a reseller, if this box would have been $20 without, you know, going through and looking up each piece, I most likely would not have paid $20. I may have asked if he would have taken $15 because the cover art is so nice and most of these are in great shape for their age. So, a little lesson about sheet music. If you want to delve into the world of researching and reselling sheet music, then easy way to do that is just go online whether you use Etsy, eBay, or any other type of reselling site, and look up vintage sheet music or antique sheet music, and you can see what is popular now. You pretty much can do that for anything that you want to sell or that you're interested in, and it'll show you. You just have to make sure that your price is right and that you have a market that is looking to buy. Sheet music, so many uses, beautiful cover art, so it is, it is great to sell. It's fun to look at great to sell. Can't play a musical instrument, so I can't use it. <laughs> but, you know, even if you think about the history of sheet music and how it has changed and, and just actually how pretty it was back then and how it's kind of plain today or, or so commonplace, you can appreciate the sheet music for the ephemera that it is and the beauty that it holds. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you are out at your flea market, hopefully you will find some treasure, maybe some boxes of wonderful items. I'm always on the hunt for ephemera because it makes me happy and I hope that you are out there buying what makes you happy as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. I will see you next time for the next adventure.